slash relationship advice. Cheating pregnant wife leaves to other state. Hello, so my wife and I, both 25, are having a baby in December. I thought we had a great marriage and both planned for the baby, was her idea first. Right after getting pregnant she started acting rude. And then she cheated on me with a guy from Texas. They even met up and I caught them on a security cam at my house. I was trying to save my marriage and wanted a family but obviously she doesn't want that. They are still a hidden couple. Well I was putting up with quite a bit obviously. But we still live together. Well that all changed when the Texas cheetah sent her a stuffed animal and I ripped it up. Then she moved to California with her mom. I am a Christian family oriented guy, so obviously. I want to be with my child and feel like I was a good husband. But now it's looking like I will be forced to move to an expensive state, she lives right by the ocean. I believe my work will let me work in California so thankfully that is covered. But it's still going to be expensive and I'm not looking forward to it. At first I'm keeping my address here and just going to visit until the baby is born and we have a custody battle to which hopefully the baby can live with me. I understand that those chances are low. My main question and concern is where is my best option to live while I temporarily stay down there. I have a few church members looking. 20% chance they find a room for me to rent. Also any tips on how I'm gonna see my child before the hearing with her hating me for no reason and being rude. I have been overly nice and polite throughout this situation and it can be tough dealing with her. Now for some comments. I hate to be that guy, but are you sure it's your baby? Don't flip your life upside down until after you get a paternity test. Was thinking the same thing. You should be able to do this before the baby is born. And I believe there is a blood test that can be done around the second trimester. You unfortunately should do this before uprooting your life anymore. Well, she was pregnant days before meeting this guy. She didn't know she was pregnant. She was acting super weird. And while she was living with her grandma, I told her grandma to have her tested. And yep she was pregnant. I want to do a paternity test anyway. Obviously, but was told in California you have to wait until birth. I have to be there for the birth. That is why I want to stay there. Hopefully for a short time. Don't want to sign a year lease or anything. Honestly. She could have been cheating before with someone else. I'm so sorry you are going through this. I hope that you get the outcome you want. She was probably seeing this guy for longer than you think. And she also might have cheated with some other guy too. I do think it's important that you have a paternity test done as the baby might not be yours. I sort of get a feeling from your post that you'd have this woman back if she wanted you. You've taken a lot of shit from her and you don't seem angry enough. We can't help you with where to live. Because we don't know where your ex lives. And you'd obviously want to live within a certain distance of her so you're close by. You're also facing a very uphill battle. She doesn't want you around. She's moved far away from you. She's seeing other men. And the baby might not be yours. Have you talked to her about providing financial support? If you haven't and you can't or won't provide this support. It will go even worse for you. I don't think you'll get anywhere near the kid without a paternity test. And it's going to cost you money to get to that point. You've got bigger things to worry about than where to live. I think you need to go to a lawyer first and get advice on the steps you need to take in order to confirm paternity. And establish visitation when the child is born. Spend your money on this before moving. Otherwise you'll end up broken right back where you started. Thanks for the reply. A lot of good points here. Well, I know from phone records also from what she has confirmed that she knew him nine days. Then told me she was leaving and she doesn't love me. Then a day later bought a ticket to go see him. That got cancelled. 
not that it matters but this guy is a loser who is 30 and is lives with and is financially dependent on his mom. No job, school just games and goes to the gym. But that does not mean that she didn't cheat on me with someone else. Have plans to get get the test done. You are right about that I'd have her back. I really shouldn't but family means everything to me. But she manipulates me on how she barely tells me anything about the baby. And only is nice when she wants me to send her stuff like her Nintendo Switch. I do find myself getting upset and mad but feel like it's best just to be kind to her. She lives by Huntington Beach. But I don't expect anyone on here to have a place for me. But feel like it I don't go down. I'll miss the birth of my child. Which I have to be there for. Hopefully she tells me when she goes to the hospital. I have a decent job. Better than hers. And can work remote. So if I absolutely had to I could pay child support if it meant seeing my child. I have a lawyer, but basically we are on hold until the baby is born. Then I'm willing to lay for lawyer fees and court fees to try to have the baby live with me. I truly feel like that would be best if I am the primary parent. I feel sad for you. Because I've seen how these things go. And it's tough being a dad in a separation. Unfortunately, I think it's unlikely that she'll even let you be in the delivery room. Or see the baby until paternity is established. And you can enforce your legal rights. Maybe. If you keep on being very nice to her. She'll allow some visitation prior to the legal side of things being resolved. But that's a pretty slim chance. If I were you, I would definitely try to be nearby when the baby is born. At the very least. But I wouldn't go alone as I think that it will be heartbreaking for you. If you're there and not allowed to see the baby. Being nearby will show that you're serious about being there for the child. On the subject of being very nice to her. Maybe ask her if she needs any money for doctor's visits for the baby. Or if you can contribute to buying some baby items. Remembering of course that you'll have to buy those same things for yourself too. You'll lose and lose badly. In terms of a relationship with your child. If you don't do this sort of thing. Maybe the baby would be better off with you. But it's very unlikely you'll get custody over 50%, even 50% is a stretch since she'll be likely breastfeeding. I agree that family is important. But I think that you don't need her back to have a good family life. She would probably keep doing the same thing over and over again, leaving. And that wouldn't be good for your child to see. It's better for the mental health of the child to understand that his slash her parents live in different places. You'll meet someone that treats you better and loves your child. And you'll have a different sort of family than the one you planned for. But a lovely family all the same. I believe my lawyer said we could do a temporary order if she doesn't let me see the baby after birth. I believe some of my family members are gonna try and come for the birth as well. But that might just make me more stressed about it I don't know. It's hard watching her make these poor decisions, she recently just ghosted her best friend after she tried giving her good advice. I recently paid for 200 of her dental bills and sent her the Switch gaming system and a stuffed animal and stuff that she likes. I have tons of baby stuff, definitely way more than her. After we split I moved temporarily back in with my parents and just saving almost my whole paycheck for court and lawyer fees and baby stuff. My family is very supportive even her family knows what happened and that she just gets like this with her past and PTSD. I am actually excited to be a dad just dreading dealing with the mom who hates me and seems like she is replacing me the pervert cheater guy. She literally was trying to name the baby with a name that the cheater came up with. Made me sick, finally convinced her not to do that. Last week a member from her church down there who I've only met once or twice told me some crazy things she is saying about me. Like how I'm this big pervert and that she is trying to save our marriage and I'm forcing a divorce on her and that she will be a single mom. I was a bit shocked, he didn't believe her so that's why he called. It was a bit strange. 
Obviously she didn't say she was cheating or anything to them. I guess since she moved away from everyone she can be whoever she makes herself up to be. Lawyer, paternity test, divorce, and save the video footage of her with the guy she's cheating on you with. It'll come in handy.